In this video, we are discussing one more property of conjugate diameters of ellipse and properties the sum of squares of two conjugate semi diameters of an ellipse is equal to sum of squares of semi axis of the ellipse. Now, obviously, I'm assuming uh, the equation of ellipse as x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Uh, a is greater than b. In that case, what I have to prove is the sum of squares of two conjugate semi diameters of an ellipse is equal to sum of squares of, now look at this part, sum of squares of semi axis of the ellipse. That means a square plus b square is your answer. This must be proved because a is semi x axis, b is semi y axis. So on x axis, half the length is a, on y axis, half the length is b. So a square plus b square is the value, is what we have to prove. Now, look at the method for this. So I'm assuming uh, let a, a cos theta, comma b sin theta, and b, a cos phi, comma b sin phi, b uh, points where two conjugate diameter diameters uh, are drawn. So these are the points on ellipse from which two conjugate diameters are drawn. Now we know that diameters are passing through center of the ellipse. So diameters are passing through center of the ellipse and then semi diameters means now semi diameter means center of the ellipse is origin and then semi diameter means OA and OB I need to obtain. So what should I write for OA? If I go for OA, OA can be simply written as A square cos square theta plus B square sin square theta and OB can be written as root of A square cos square phi plus b square sine square phi. Now look at this carefully. What we have to prove is OA square plus OB square is equal to A square plus B square. This is what we have to prove. Now I have to prove what I have to prove. OA square plus OB square is equal to this A square plus B square. So I'm going for OA square plus OB square. So it will be simply a square cos square theta plus b square sine square theta plus a square cos square phi plus b square sine square phi. Now we had property that theta minus phi is 90. That means the points where these uh, conjugate diameters are drawn their eccentric angle or parametric angle differs by 90 degrees. So you may write then theta is equal to 90 plus 5. In that case, OA square plus OB square becomes, this is A square. Now cos of 90 plus 5 I have the whole square plus B square. This is sine, sorry, uh, here also it's B square. B square sine square 90 plus phi I have plus these two terms a square cos square phi plus b square sine square phi these two terms remain same now I have two terms of a square and I have two terms of b square if you observe there are two terms of a square and two terms of b square from these two terms I am taking like observe this carefully I'm writing now, therefore, OA square plus OB square is, so from this and this, I'm taking A square common. Now, what is cos 90 plus 5? Cos 90 plus 5, if you want, I mention here, cos of 90 plus 5 is minus sine 5. But then since there is square, you can write this as sine square 5. Plus, from this, you have cos square 5. Plus 
Now look at these two terms. This is b square sine square 90 plus pi and this is b square sine square pi. So I have taken b square common. Now sine 90 plus pi, likewise you can write sine 90 plus pi is cos of phi. So this is cos square phi plus sine square phi. Now I hope you got answer. OA square plus OB square is equal to then A square plus B square. This is what the proof. We got the result that OA square plus OB square is equal to A square plus B square. 